Okay, so bobbers. We're all familiar with these little red and white bobbers. We've seen these, you know, growing up as kids and everything. This is about as basic as you can get when it comes to bobbers. Now, the only problem with these bobbers are is because they are round and buoyant, they can be a little hard to see subtle movements in the water. So another option is a more long, skinny bobber like this. Now, depending on the model, some might float a little bit of an angle, some will float straight down. But this can be a little bit easier to see as it moves up and down in the water. Now, this one also has a spring where you would just pull back on the spring, tuck your fishing line in it, and then release, and then would hang on to the spring, much like one of these little red and white bobbers. Now, you think bobbers, there can't be that much to know about bobbers, but another thing you may not be familiar with yet is what's called a slide bobber. And a slide bobber actually slides up and down on the fishing line. Now, the advantage of this bobber is if you're fishing deeper water, like when I go crappie fishing, the crappie might be in 20 feet of water. Well, I can't put a standard bobber 20 feet on the line because I'd never be able to reel it in. Now, on this, this uses a bobber stop. The bobber stops I like, and actually I'll show you some, are these little uh, these little rubber plastic ones. These are actually made by a company called Wu Tungsten uh, Bait Company, or I'm sorry, Wu Tungsten Weight Company. Um, but basically, I don't know if you can see it on camera here, but there's a little piece of wire, and you would just thread the line through it and then pull the rubber piece off. Once it comes off, it sits on your line like that. And you can actually move this up and down the line. So you can adjust the height of where your bobber is. So you have your bobber stop, you cast out, and then the bobber will float up to that bobber stop and will set the hook at whatever depth you want. So this makes it a little bit easier, you know, depending on the species of fish that you're fishing for. Um, another bobber that I use quite often are these little egg bobbers, uh, the little cheap styrofoam bobbers, but I like these personally for saltwater fishing. Um, I'll put, use one of these and I'll throw a shrimp underneath it and I use that for like redfish and trout. Um, they also make something very similar to this that has a little wire piece that goes through with some beads on it. That's called a popping bobber. Some people say that the beads popping makes a similar sound to a shrimp in the water. Um, so lots of different bobbers to try. I highly recommend experimenting with them. Um, but the slide bobber and the bobber stops are excellent if you're going to do some deeper water fishing. So I hope these videos are helping. Uh, trying to get a little more comfortable shooting these videos. This is our, our first couple that we've shot so far. Um, if you find this information helpful, please continue watching our videos. Check out our website. Once again, that is www.fishingwithafamily.com. And if you're getting some uh, you know, information on this or you know somebody that this might help, please share the videos. Thank you.